Uh, rec recording. Hi, uh, John Manoa here. Uh, just an update to you for those people who are uh, waiting patiently uh, for the flag to go up on the treaty grounds at Waitangi. Uh, we are just waiting for an answer from the New Zealand Navy, Chief of the Navy, uh, John Martin. To you, John Martin. This is the third and last um, official letterhead to you from our organisation and from the chiefs of the tribes in Waitangi and Titi Marae, Chief Kingi Tauru and the Taumata Elders. I'm there for them with all the documents of our uh, um, authority under King William uh, the Fourth jurisdiction and 1835 and 1852 constitutions. Now, because you haven't answered uh, to us, John, uh, Rear Admiral John Martin, New Zealand Navy. We have no option but to go to the British military, Rear Admiral uh, George, Sir George Zambales, and ask for his assistance from the Navy because we have the King William Navy title to these lands. The mortgage lands comes under the Admiralty Court Martial Law in the world of commerce and the Commonwealth. Countries, the 53 countries, are under this same flag that you see flying behind me here. Now I'm here to uh, represent the Confederation of Chiefs, uh, been in the organisation for many years, in fact about 18 years, I've been following it all the way through back to Mohi Manikau. Uh, we put 20 flags together to send to Malta to Prince Peter and his son Ilu Manikau. I'll just go and get the book one more minute. Now, this is the book here I have of the Whakameninga uh, put together the government structures for our organisation, Straight to Britain. I'm running through this now as a matter of urgency to uh, the um, British Army Chief Nicholas Horton. Sir Nicholas Horton. We are in trouble here with John Key and Queen Elizabeth in a different level under the Supreme Governor of the Church of England title when she is a threat to us and our business between the Hapu, the Whakamininga flag here of the Declaration of Independence 1835 founding of this country. The Queen and her agents, John Key, is a conflict of interest to us now, the Chiefs, and myself, the surrogate King William IV, authority to speak for him, and his partners, the Hapu, Chiefs of the tribes, the Northern tribes, e Whakaputanga o Te Rangateratanga, or New Tirin. There, this book is the authority under the Declaration of Independence of New Zealand. Here, so I'm just saying I'm putting this together to present to our meeting with the Tomata elders and the Whakamunea 
under the regional states parliamentary standing orders here as being straight to Britain to assist us recover our lands, our resources, natural resources, our bonds, all our property back to us from John Key and his government in New Zealand. Now, I've written to you, John Martin of the Navy, to warn you that we're now taking legal action because you represent all the kinds of the interests, financial investment interests of John Key and his corporate private companies. The police, the New Zealand police, we have exhausted every avenue for them to protect our interests as well and fail. The Waitangi Tribunal and all those um, court hearings, land court hearings, Maryland court hearings, have been of little use to us, the hapu. It only favoured the iwi, Māori, organisations and the Federation of Māori Authority, which is an ownership of the Crown Corporations. They are not the hapu titles, they are the Crown Corporations titles and John Key's government. They only have occupation titles and lease land titles that we are about to terminate with this organisation. Now, I've written to the Secretary of Defence, Michael Fallon, and the British government is our partner. He's holding the checkbook. To you, Michael Fallon, I'm asking your assistance to bring your military onto my land blocks at the Ha Ho 7B land on the Waiapu River bed, all that stretch of land we want to put an international airport in for the military and Air Force and the Navy to come straight in. We have a mandate put together on the Waitangi Day, 6th of February, from the 3rd of February, uh, Michael, to you. We put a number of resolutions together, me and the executive, as the minute taker for the Titi Marae Tomata Elders. Now, <clears throat> we're asking you as a last resort because I'm waiting another day for John Martin to you, Chief of Navy, New Zealand, to answer me. In that letter, everyone's reading around the world, as well as Britain watching what we're doing here with our land. If you fail to reply or respond, John Martin, then that's an indication that you are a threat of a Navy to us and our land interests that I've made videos of the threat of TPPA by John Key leaving our chiefs out of the discussions on our land. You are alien on our land now, which you only lease through our flag, this flag here, flying on your ship. That's a British ship, by the way, standing above Kororareka, Russell, the ship mast of Admiralty. You flew this flag every year from 1946 and didn't put it up on the 10th of March 2016. 
Now, why didn't you put it up, John Martin? I'm assuming the answer is, is that you've been caught out usurping our contract title with King William IV, authority to operate commercial business under this flag. If that's so, then you're going to get a bill. You're going to get a bill, the Navy here is going to get a bill, all of you, personnel. Now, take note. Take note, Michael. Go on. You are our partner. You are our commercial trading bank business partner. Under the 1835 Declaration of Independence Constitution, the 1852 UK British Constitution and King William the Fourth Acts of Parliament that we're still in from 1830 to 1837 of the Admiralty Court Martial Laws. We are exercising still in a contract, private contract with it, to bill charge debtor any threatened person against our financial investment interests between us, the Hapu, native chiefs, and myself, the surrogate King William IV, authority of the Whakamininga flag of the chiefs, the 37 chiefs, the 37 chiefs only who signed the agreement with King William IV under this flag. Now, this is a order to you, Michael Fallon, that we were requesting your assistance to come to New Zealand on my land blocks and set the British military up to administer with us our business as it was in 1835, the 28th of October this year, is 181 years this flag's been flying. Since then, still unchanged, unbroken sovereignty between our sovereignty and Britain's sovereignty, UK, with King William IV. King of Commerce, the King of the Commonwealth, that we are acting as creditor to confiscate all the lands here in this country and the flagpole on the treaty grounds in Waitangi on the 15th, Friday the 15th of April 2016. Michael, we're going ahead to raise this flag up the top of your ship of Admiralty on Treaty of Waitangi grounds that we are confiscating, seizing and salvaging back into our accounts. We're going to build, charge debtor, the New Zealand corporations since 1835, as far back as 1830 in the Commonwealth countries against all those states who have usurped this flag, which is our contract between me and you, Michael Fellow. It's our business to recover everything I put 970 million trillion trillion pound notes. Did you hear that? One more time. Michael Fallon, you are the Secretary of Defence for the British military. I'm asking you to assist us in our business, administer with us your portion of recovering the debts owed through Annex A, YNAX Limited, Debt Collectors, UK, England, to immediately process those claims. 
Okay, so I'm saying to John Key, he's just made a statement that his parliament in New Zealand, Wellington, is supreme. Now, the word supreme against sovereign authority, jurisdiction of the King's Bench Court, creditor and sheriff and royal revenue as superior emperor of the world is something quite higher than supreme. That word supreme is offensive on our land, being spoken by John Key hasn't got any title or flag of his own sovereignty. This is our sovereignty flag. Michael, that he's dicing on thin ice with his government. I want you to sack them when we're finished building them personally. Michael, Pope Francis made an order. He made an order that all corporations and trusts he destroyed. All his laws, they're still using them, Michael. They are still using the laws in these courts here, in my court case, on Cook Street, 77 Cook Street. I want you to assist us to seize that land as well, because it's Crown land, straight to England. That land block in all Auckland, subsidy area is British title and the rest of it, the whole country under this flag is British title. That's our title. That they are out of line. And I want you to fix it. I want you to fix it and come here and put a commissioner here. Place a commissioner here. The pound note pays the whole military for the next ten years. I know your budget is 45 billion for the 2015-2016 year and so it's not going to take much effort to write a note because that's my job, the pound note of King William IV and Maui crown. That's a real crown, an earth crown on his head of his statue is our memorial, Michael. That's our native Tahitian memorial to the whole Pacific Islands and New Zealand and the world for that matter, standing in England. London, Queen Elizabeth, Great Court. That's our title and mine. My title, Michael, and King William Memorial in Devon, England, to Devon Port here from Devon Port in England is our title. To the King's Bench Court creditor and his inheritance is ours and yours in portions, but our contract is secure. It's threatened, it is threatened by John Key and the Queen's Business of America. So I want us to immediately recover all our property right through the world, right through the world. We have set up a Commonwealth Government of the world. I'm just telling you that we have uh, association with you in business. So we have our native title here in this book that I'm going up to the chiefs and your chiefs watching, the Whakaminga is here. The rest of it is over here, and I'm bringing it up. I'm bringing it up as soon as we get an answer from you, Michael. We are wrapping this whole lot up with John Key. He's gone far enough. He's gone far enough with the flag. His fern and football flag has a direct threat to go over this flag. That's the sign that we're just waiting for today to see where that went. We're going to shift the 
1902 flag, Union Jack flag on the cross rung beside yours, British flag, 1902 New Zealand flag, and this one on the top. On the treaty grounds, this one will be flying all over the world. All over the world, and we will run our parliament in Auckland on Cook Street. The Commonwealth Government of the World will be on Cook Street and eventually up in Cornwall Park and the grounds up there on the hill and the memorial changed <coughs> back to its original title. Cuffin of Waikato. Okay, and the Monica title to Scotland. The Michael Land Company, Michael, is what I've got here. Straight to Scotland. Where all those immigrants from your country left Devon and came here to Devon and Plymouth, New Plymouth, on the west coast and Devon on the east coast here. That's our title. With you. Okay, these people are ignorant. Your people that came from Australia here. From Britain, originally, all the surnames, all those people watching this video, you have got here and you claim ignorance about this flag that got you here in the first place. It's an offence now to say nothing. When you say nothing, you lose. So you're going to get the bill. You're going to get a bill. Michael, they're all going to get a bill. Because we've got the sheriffs, they're going to go knocking on all their doors. Anybody want a job? There's sheriff's jobs around. You can get one all over the world. From 250 countries. So this flag's going, Michael, we're going to ship free passage through the well, because that's what it is. It is a private contract, and it's got our projects with it. You'll see, notice on our Facebook sites, the Maui Tidal Turbine. Is putting out 957 billion a year just on one Tidal NG bridge. There's 60 in the Pacific Ocean going up straight away, and the rest up in Scotland, Ireland, and England. Okay, so we've got that ready to go. That's why I want you down on the east coast, on the Waipu River mouth, up the river. There's 13 kilometres of runway. You can go right up there and plenty of metal to make a solid airport to bring the big Andovers in. 150 ton payload. Okay, come straight in. There's nothing wrong with making a temporary runway uh, from um, materials there. <coughs> so, one more time. John Key and his New Zealand government and corporations under the Queen and her agents are now at risk of losing everything personally that they own, singly. The Pope says take them out singly. So that's what we're doing with Cook Street. I want you to back us up. I want you to write to me, Michael Fallon. Secretary of Defence, Britain, UK. I want you to write to me after tomorrow when John Martin, I'm expecting him to answer in writing of what his intentions are to help us put our flag up on the British ship mast in the treaty grounds at Whitehall. We want to do it diplomatically. My position on that is a creditor and sheriff to administer the accounts here with you, Michael. I need your best accountants. I need your best brokers for land. And I need your best real estate person as much as I am in real estate to audit the books of the HM Treasury when I come there, 
and audit the books of New Zealand Government's Treasury and all the other treasuries under the Queen is now forfeited into the King's Bench Court. Okay, we're livening up the King's Bench Court sheriffs in the counties of the Commonwealth countries, 53 Commonwealth countries, and we're going into the 250 countries you'll see on our website, moaipowerhouse.com and check out the states that we have set up to administer these funds to those countries that join us, Michael. This is the best way, the Moai is God, truth, sovereign way that hasn't been tried yet. Okay, so I'm being uh, exact uh, to you to make sure that we have everything in place with your ambassador here from Britain, UK, to contact me or I'll contact him, her, here in New Zealand, Wellington, to get something down on paper, our contract, with our chiefs who are waiting patiently. They have left this job to me to do the whakaminanga. This is the government ready to go. Okay, so I've got all the documents and the chiefs on side to put this together straight to Britain. Straight to Britain. So to you, John Key, Prime Minister of New Zealand, being supreme and saying you're supreme is just as bad as saying your flag, your new look flag, fern is on your apparel and flying all over the country is a failure because you never spoke to the natives who you're still trying to buy out with the treaty claims. In fact, you're looking at yourself in a mirror with your Maori Iwi authority, which is your invention. That's got nothing to do with the hapu and the confederation of chiefs and their flag. Somehow or other, you're using our flag. The New Zealand Business Roundtable, Intuition New Zealand Limited, changed its name to. And the New Zealand Business Roundtable and its NZ Invest companies. And the police companies. Going to get a bill. You're all going to get a bill off the 970 million trillion trillion pound note. The green one you see floating around is in the bank. It's in the bank. It's going to build where the gold's missing. It's going to be recovered. I'm expecting you, Michael Fallon, to recover all of that and pay yourself handsomely with it. We'll make a deal. We'll cut a deal. Britain didn't give us any instructions with this fact. We've made our instructions up from King William's Acts of Parliament, 1830-1837, were the only ones that are legally authorised to use those Acts of Parliament when the Pope has destroyed them from every other country administering, including America. Obama, this one is for you. You're illegally using an Admiralty Court Martial Law that's coming from this flag. You're going to get a bill too. You're all going to get a bill. That's why you're getting caught. All of you people around the world getting caught in the courts, the judges, the lawyers, the barristers, and primacies, presidents, priests, bishops, ministers, politicians, public servants, crown agents, all of you people are going to get the bill. All of you will get the bill. Singly, someone will knock on your door. All the chemtrails, all the poison in water, all the doctors with prescriptions that are killing people, they're all going to get a bill from the 970 million trillion trillion pound note. Michael, John Keyes has got a trillion pounds on each of his agents' heads. Each one of them. And the Queen's account will pay the balance of what's short on each one. It's a flat figure. 
forstados. Forstados. Okay? They're going to get individually bankrupted. Including the real estate companies. The whole lot. The whole lot. Are occupying our lands. The lease is up. We're going to terminate the lease and release it with a new contract with you, Michael Farrell, and me, and the Chiefs. I've got my own credentials and my own name and the Manukau name and the Parapara name are original in England with the Rogan judges and the Cosgrove lawyers and the Manukau land titles here in this country. Full stop. Now, that's superior. That's superior. Our name, Wānoa, is in Tahiti, East Island, and the Moai Satin. Okay? Okay? So that's, that's where we're from. The most two powerful memorials in the world, King William IV, commercial title, memorial, and Moai, Earth, God's Truth, title. To this earth. Okay? Can't get any more than the truth. Wins out. You can't say anything or stay silent and not perform like what the governments here have done. And all my documents online are admis uh, admissible in the High Court of Admiralty in the London courts. They haven't answered. None of them can. Not even the Iwi Mountain can. River, any Maui King William trust or King William evidence. I have a right, legal right, to act as his partner, surrogate, self king. In the meantime, till we get Ernest Augustus V in as king of UK Britain, he's the king of Britain, UK. Um, appointing him straight in with these pound notes to cover his debts and his expenses. Okay, so that's enough for this video today. Just to let the people know uh, up in Waitangi and the uh, Confederation itself, the Whakaminia, I have all the documents for that and I'm just awaiting on the Navy to respond, reply to me, otherwise we have our legal right to go ahead and seize the ship Vadmonti in the treaty grounds, the grounds themselves, the land, and the Marae, the Waitangi Marae, the Titi Marae, and the Obelisk, Obelisk, the 1840 Obelisk, seize that in every other memorial Obelisk in this country that's standing as supreme under John Key against a king, emperor, superior, title holder, that was here before they came along. We'll just return them to England, just like the immigrants being returned to Syria by Russia. Okay, so uh, the chiefs up at Waitangi and down in Tuhoi and uh, Maniukuru, Tainui, uh, Napui, uh, Natipo, uh, Arawa uh, and others I've missed down in Maitahu. Uh, the Hapu I'm talking about, not the Iwi, the Hapu. We're talking this language, the straight native language, the credit language against you, the debtor language. Your debt is caught up with you and it's crashing around your head with your funny money. Your uh, fit money has been crooking everybody all these years. And so we have uh, come to the conclusion to cash up all of the books settle accounts with the government and then remove them from power. 
We will leave them there for now, Michael. We will leave them there for now until we dealt, dealt with each one separately. We'll have marshals uh, pay with a pound note. We'll trade with a pound note. This pound note is value. And I'll run through that with the bankers and the financiers that from Britain come here and meet me and our chiefs. And I'll do everything myself when it comes to the land titles, the conveyancing instruments, the mortgages, and the bank loans. I will handle them myself. And I'll get the staff to do it, experts, and pay them well. So that's all for this video. Uh, last point uh, I'll make is that the chiefs uh, who are waiting for me uh, right up to the 15th of April 2016, that's the day we want this flag to go up on a pole. Uh, and um, uh, it might happen before then, uh, over the Easter weekend. Um, no, I wanted to get the diplomatic side done uh, so that we have um, an, enough notice uh, for the uh, Navy to respond. This Navy in New Zealand had long enough to respond. It's the British Navy uh, uh, need to respond by email and that's an indication uh, to us that I can go to the British em uh, Embassy here and meet somebody in the office and uh, get the dialogue going and get a contract of so some sorts going between the chiefs and you directly. We're going straight out of this government and the New South Wales titles will be uh, surrendered uh, with uh, everyone involved linked right back uh, and build right back to 1830 and to 1837. 1835 periods of levy debtors. The pound note is a levy debtor instrument. We are the creditors, the levy creditors. Uh, I must let you know how that works. And that finances everything. From Cook Street, we're going to seize Cook Street at the same time with my barrister, uh, Shannon Withers. If you're listening to this video, I'm still waiting for you four weeks, going on five weeks now. I haven't heard from you. Uh, what's happening with my case, uh, I feel unfair uh, that I'm hanging when you've got the full disclosure from the police, the CID, Criminal Investigation Bureau, uh, have let me up in the air. And so I'll report that to you, Michael Fallon, that I'm being held up uh, for this um, court case on Cook Street where they have no jurisdiction over me and you to uh, sort it out with me. I'm going to take that land over and develop it straight off. I have contracts with it, pending the seizure with the pound note. I will settle everything with the pound note. I will pay the British military with the pound note for the next 10 years. So there's no problem there. I will pay all the militaries in the 250 countries with the pound note to recover all the gold stolen, the 1.5 million tons of gold missing around the world. I will pay every military in the world to override any threat to British title business life and us, your partners in business commerce. I will pay with power note for our administrative organisation here in New Zealand under the Commonwealth of the Well Government with Britain, the Moai King William the Fourth Trust shall administer the Commonwealth of the World Government, the New World Order under the St. Patrick's Church Eight Point Star Sheriff's Badge. That is our Irish title, not the Vatican's. That's my Irish Cosgrove's family side and the uh, Patrick uh, family side, uh, my private secretary, Anna Marie Stewart Patrick, 
is on that side of the ledger. And I'm on the Manaka, Wanoa, Rogan side of the judge, King's Bench Court side of the ledger, creditors ledger. Okay, just to let you know, I'm talking straight up. No beating around the bush to the whole world watching this video that I shall pay for everything with that's uh, set up for the new look government of the world and the natives here shall have their own government I shall pay for that too with all the recovered funds from everything that was stolen, the inheritance of King William IV and the Queen took it. Everything the Queen got forfeited. And all her agents and all the businesses forfeited. The land, the businesses, the investments, the accounts are now liable since the Pope destroyed all of their corporations, but not ours. He cannot touch our title to Westminster. It's institute law, fixed, extent, forevermore, until we change it. So I'm going to come there, to Westminster, and sort it out. Put the king in place. I'm a surrogate commercial king. King of Commerce, King of the Sea, King of the King's Royal Revenue, King's Bench Court. That's who I am. Okay? Until someone says otherwise. That's the law. My law is God's law. L O R E. King William's law is L A W, man's law. One spirit, one man. Thank you very much, everybody. And. Happy Easter to all the people watching this video. See you again. Bye. Today is Wednesday, the 22nd of March 2016. John Wanoa, Auckland, New Zealand. Bidding a nice day.